So here we are. It's Tony Day. You've got a Tony pin. I know. I love this day, too. <laughs> is it surreal? Like, what is today? Have you been able to put it into perspective? It is surreal a little bit. Yeah. I mean, even in the car ride over, I was like, oh, I should probably start to take this day in. You know, it's kind of like all of my dreams. It's yeah. like crazy. Also, it's just cool to see everyone here. Like, yeah. this is our community, and, and we're all just being celebrated today, and that's a beautiful thing. Because you're all working the same schedule. So you, you, all your friends you either send a selfie to from your dressing room. That's right. Because you're all on the same schedule. But today you get to celebrate with That's everybody right. going through the same thing. And what's beautiful is like it is hard to do press any times oh, a week. Yeah. That's yeah. tricky and not something like TV film actors have to do. They do press once their movie is already out. But what's beautiful about this is you're... You get to not take it for granted. Yeah. We get to go do the show that we're getting celebrated for every single night. And, you know, that's such a gift, yeah. I think. Going through this with Ben together, like, yeah. what's, what's that like? Oh, my God. I, I, immediate, my immediate reaction is, like, relief. Like, it's so nice to have a partner in crime yeah. on stage, off stage, through press, singing, you know, the ups and downs of eight times a week. It's, like, really important to have someone that is so there and that I trust and um, you know we just love each other which is so nice um, yeah it's convenient really <laughs> bringing a whole new audience to the theater some are coming for the very first time saying yeah. oh my god they do it live what that means to you yes it's everything I mean that's the magic right it's like yeah. the, the only thing you can hear is like the whir of an air conditioning like it's so beautiful when you can just hear a pin drop and um, and you get to kind of share yeah this story too, which is like so filled with like a million emotions. Like there's so many styles of music that Jason has written and you know, we get to play on stage every night because um, you know, Michael has created such a kind of free playground for yeah. us in a way. Um, and that's what makes it fun. Take me back to the youngest Michaela, like that first show you did on stage. It could be anywhere in the backyard, in school. Yeah. What was that show? And what would older Michaela tell younger Michaela? Well, I think the first show that really like hit me and was the show that I like wanted to do this for the rest of my life was South Pacific with Kids Theater and I was like I think I am I think I'm good at this like I think I can sing through songs and tell stories through songs and I don't think I want to do anything else for the rest of my life you know it's just this moment of I love musical theater and I love um the exchange between actor and audience and actor and co-actor and um, yeah, I've never forgotten that production. And Who'd you play? Nelly. Yeah, yeah. What would your old self tell your young self way back then, starting out, like doing South Pacific? You know what she would say? And I've thought about this so much, but I hated, I didn't like how my voice had such a hard break. I like can't belt after a C. And then, you know, there's this production a parade that comes along and you're like I would not be able to sing this if I didn't have that mix I couldn't have belted this whole score that's not who Lucille is and um, I would just say like trust your voice like know that it's gonna there's pros and cons to every voice and you know that is gonna take you far someday and and do something that a lot of other people can't do so um, you know just like trust that it's gonna be there